welcome to it's traffic in this video i am going to start chapter 4 class 10 computer science seba new computer science book so in this chapter we are going to learning about a very useful features of programming language that is loop this feature is name is loop we will also learn the different types of loop and we will write several interesting programming by using loops first let's see what is a loop here one example is given one simple program to display i read in class 10 under seba in five times so you will see here in this program we have written printf statement five times and uh, it's okay because we are writing only five times then what happen if we have to write the same statement thousand times the program will be quite long isn't it we can overcome from this problem by using loop now see the another program which is writing by using loop so here you see here instead of instead of writing five times we are writing just in one time i read in class 10 and it will display in five times so let us have an example here i have written one simple program to display i read in class 10 10 times just i have added header file include stdio.h then int main then printf statement uh, 10 times after that return 0 and when we run the program we'll see the output as this one i read in class 10 that statement in 10 times in output now the same program i am writing by using loops i am using here while loop include stdio.h int main then integer i equal 0 while i less than equal to 10 printf so here i am writing printf statement just one time not 10 and this is repeating so if we see the output both output will be same here i have written just once but still it is repeated for 10 times now you see suppose i need 100 times just just instead of 10 we'll write here 100 in condition then the output will appear for 100 times so you see here i did in class 10 appear 100 times so this way loop help us to repeat the same statement again and again for a specific number of time so whenever we need to walk many times the same time many times we can write the walk only once by putting inside loop every programming language support loop loop is used for repeated execution of set of programming statement now which part of the loop will be repeat in this program whatever i will write inside the curly braces this part will repeat okay if i write something outside the loop outside the bracket if i write one more printf statement Suppose uh, I am writing just by and this one 10. This is a by will be not repeated 10 times because I have written this statement outside the loop. Let's have an example. So you see, I read in class 10, it is repeated 10 times, but that by it is only once because I have written the by outside the loop. That's why. So whatever we want to repeat inside the loop always we have to write inside the looping statement or body of the loop if we write outside the body of the loop this part will be not repeat on the program so here in this program this is header file you know you have already learned in class 9 this header file give basic information about input and output devices which we are going to use in this program and this is the main function of the program integer int main this program return integer type values and here we have one variable int i equals 0 this is index variable we started the index from 0 now here our condition while i greater than 5 means we'll start from 0 but we'll go till 5 until i the value of i will be greater than 5 means at first the counter will be 0 then it will 
come inside the loop it will display this statement and here the value of i will be plus plus now plus plus operator uses i think you have already learned in class 9 the plus plus operator what it do it will increase the value of i by 1 like at first it was 0 so next statement it will be 0 plus 1 so it will be 1 so this way again it will go to the condition here and check whether 1 is less than 5 or not it is true so again this will uh, show the output so this way it will continue and when the value of i will become 5 it will exit from the loop because 5 is not greater than 5 so this way we can display i read in class 10 under seba 5 times now if we write instead of 5 50 this line will be displaying 50 times and there are many types of loop many types of loop in c they are mainly um, there are different type of loop in c mainly three types while loop do while and for loop first we'll talk about while loop in following example this example we are using while loop only the while loop is also known as entry control loop because the while loop check the condition before it entering to the loop so let's us have the condition uh, let us have the structure or signature of the while loop so this will be the format of while loop first we'll have while then condition after that curly braces inside the braces we'll write the statements so here you'll see inside while loop i have written these two statement printf i read in class 10 and i plus plus and inside after while inside bracket i have written i greater than equal to 10 so this is the condition okay now in this uh, statement only whatever i have written inside the bracket that part going to be repeat and whatever i will write outside the statement outside statement or outside the bracket this part will be not repeat in the loop so as i told before while we run a while loop first it will check the condition when it is true it will come inside and it will repeat the loop again it will go before and it will again check the condition so this way it will repeat till the condition is true so let us uh, see another example of while loop that asks to entering integer five times and every time a number is entered the program display the number back the loop stop as the value of variable index reaches 5 so here we have one variable integer variable then index int index equal 0 all we can say i equal 0 and here is the condition after that we have one printf statement that enter a number then we'll scan the number and we'll store in variable and after that we'll also display the output so let us have the right let us write the program we'll take uh, one more variable int variable var and we'll take one counter variable int i equal 0 and we'll take five times input so we'll write i less than 5 and here we'll write enter the value of enter a number and we'll store the number in variable var so we'll write scanf percent d then and percent will store in var now semicolon now let's see what we'll need one counter variable also means we have to increase the counter the counter start from zero and each time we'll increase the counter by one so we'll write plus plus as our counter variable is here i so here we'll write i plus plus and before the counter again we'll write once printf statement 
so we'll write print f here we'll write percent d like u entered percent d and the variable will be var and please note i have told in class 9 also when you are using variable with printf statement you don't have to use an person symbol but when you are using variable in scanf statement you must use this and person symbol now let's run the program this printf is not required so we can remove this part so it asks me to enter a number 4 you entered 4 it next 7 you entered 7 5 you entered 5 3 you entered 3 9 you entered 9 after that process returned 0 means our program finished and it accept 4 numbers first I have entered 4 second time 7 third time 5 4 time 3 and the last time 9 so this way we can accept 5 input and store that number in the same variable and here another example here we have uh, one variable int variable and this one is index variable and one more variable as n enter the number of time you want to run the loop now how many time we will we want here I want to take 5 times so 5 I have written myself suppose I want to take it from the user so with var we will take one more variable as n and we will take the n also from the user so up before the while only we will write printf statement printf and here we will write inside bracket enter how many times you want to repeat and we'll also use scanf statement scanf and percent d as i am going to take integer value and n percent will stored in n and semicolon now it will ask me how many times i want to enter in the loop whatever number i will whatever whatever number i will enter here at that number of time the loop will continue now here instead of 5 we'll write n now let's run the program so enter how many times you want to repeat suppose i am writing 8 so asking me number 1 next time i am writing 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then finish now let's have uh, another example we'll give here number enter the first number second number like this so enter percentage d th number and here we'll keep the variable as i now let's have the output you will see here a little bit different so how many times you want six times suppose five seven five three eight three so this way comes zero one two three four five so this way you can uh, write programs in while loop in next video we are going to discussed about do while loop it is an exit control loop in do while loop the loop can run at least one time even if it is false we'll discuss in next video so for today this much only we'll meet in next video with do while loop till then take care and bye